Abruzzo Abruzzi is an Italian wine region located in the mountainous central Italian region of Abruzzo along the Adriatic Sea. It is bordered by the Molise wine region to the south, Marche to the north and Lazio to the west. Abruzzo's rugged terrain, 65% of which is mountainous, helped to isolate the region from the winemaking influence of the ancient Romans and Etruscans in Tuscany but the area has had a long history of wine production. Today more than 22 million cases of wine are produced annually in Abruzzo, making it the seventh most productive region in Italy, but only 21.5% of which is made under the Denominazione di Origine Controllata doc designation. More than two-thirds of the region's wine is produced by co-operatives or sold in bulk to negotiants in other Italian wine regions in Tuscany, Piedmont and the Veneto for blending. The most notable wine of the region is Montepulciano di Abruzzo produced with the Montepulciano grape that is distinct from the Sangiovese grape behind the Tuscan wine Vino Nobile di Montepulciano. Together with Trebbiano di Abruzzo, Montepulciano di Abruzzo is one of the most widely exported dock wine from Italy, particularly to the United States. While wine is produced in all four of Abruzzo's provinces, the bulk of the production takes place in the province of Chieti, which is the fifth largest producing province in all of Italy. Some of the most highly rated wine from Abruzzo comes from the hillside vineyards in the northern provinces of Pescara and Teramo. In the completely mountainous province of L'Aquila in the west, some rosé wine known as Sarasolo from the Montepulciano grape is produced. <laughs> Climate and geography The Abruzzo region has the Apennines running along its western border and includes Corno Grande, the highest point on mainland Italy. The mountain range serves as a tempering influence on the climate, blocking many storms that come in from the west. However, this does leave the area prone to storm systems originating from the east, which are blocked in their westward progression by the mountains, causing high levels of precipitation to fall on the vineyards, as happened during several rain-soaked vintages of the late 1990s. To the east, the Adriatic Sea provides a moderating Mediterranean climate for the vineyards that run along a west-east orientation in calcareous clay river valleys that flow from the mountains to the seas. In the northern region of Abruzzo, along the Marche border, the microclimates, vineyard soils and altitude of many vineyards are similar to other central Italian wine regions in Tuscany, Umbria and Marche, while the warmer, flatter, more humid and fertile vineyard sites in the southern Chieti have microclimates more similar to southern Italian wine regions like Calabria and Apulia. Viticulture and grapes. Despite the mountainous region of Abruzzo having only half of the vineyard land of regions like Tuscany, the region still produces more than 22 million cases of wine annually. This is partly because of the high permitted yields of Abruzzo's main dock region as much as 100 hectoliters, hectare as well as the government-mandated use of high-producing tendone vine training systems installed in the 1970s. Particularly on the fertile hillsides and plain of the southern Chieti province, vineyards warmed by the dry Adriatic breezes during the summer can produce prodigious yields. Of all the provinces in Italy, Chieti is the fifth largest producer of wine in Italy. The dominant varieties of the region are the red Montepulciano grape and the white Trebbiano di Abruzzo grape, which was once considered a clone of the insipid Trebbiano Toscano. Trebbiano di Abruzzo is thought not to be a version of Trebbiano at all, but the southern Italian white grape Bambino Bianco. Both Trebbiano Toscano and Bambino Bianco are still widely planted in Abruzzo with field blends including all three varieties labeled as Trebbiano di Abruzzo still common, while the Montepulciano di Abruzzo grape has no known relationship to the Tuscan wine village of Montepulciano or the Sangiovese grape behind the wines of Vino Nobile di Montepulciano, it was thought of for a time in the 19th century that the Montepulciano grape and Sangiovese may be related. While this relationship has proven false, it is still not known how the dominant grape of Abruzzo took the name of the Renaissance-era town. <inaudible> <inaudible> Winemaking Nearly 80% of all the wine in the Abruzzo region is produced by large cooperative wineries with the four largest, Cantina Tolo, Casal Theolero, Casal Bordino and Citra, dominating wine production in the region. In addition to making the majority of Abruzzi labeled wine, these large co-ops also sell wine to other Italian and French wine regions where they are used for blending. 
According to wine experts Joe Bostianich and David Lynch, a good part of many better regarded French and Northern Italian wines come from Abruzzo. In the late 20th and early 21st century, there has been a trend away from the cooperatives towards growers starting their own boutique or artisanal wineries. Two early proponents of this movement were Emidio Pepe and Eduardo Valentini, who is described by Bostianich and Lynch as the Angelo Gaja of Abruzzo, and by master of wine Mary Ewing Mulligan as the Lord of the Vines, who brought innovative styles of winemaking to the region that combines traditional and modern techniques. Pepe incorporates some elements of traditional winemaking, including crushing his organically grown grapes by foot, similar to the traditional port wine tradition of using a large stone vats called lagares to tread on wine grapes. He also shuns the use of any fining and filtration aids as well as the use of the sulfur dioxide for preserving and protecting the wine oxidation. However, instead of using oak barrels or stainless steel fermentation tanks, Pepe ferments and ages everything in glass from using glass-lined fermentation vessels, to storing the wine in bottles. When the wines are ready to be released, they are decanted off their sediments and repackaged in a new wine bottle. Valentini and the new wave of artisanal winemakers often utilize extensive pruning, green harvesting, and low crop yields in the vineyard, as well as extended maceration for red wines, and oak aging for whites to produce wines that have received some critical acclaim. According to Matt Kramer, Valentini's Trebbiano di Abruzzo may be Italy's single greatest dry white wine. Wine expert Jancis Robinson describes it as one of Italy's most distinctive dry white wines. Topic: <inaudible> Wines. <inaudible> Widely grown throughout Abruzzo and central Italy and believed by some ampelographers to be indigenous to the region, Montepulciano is the fifth most widely planted red grape variety in Italy, behind Sangiovese, Barbera, Merlot, and Negroamaro. In Abruzzo, it is the principal grape behind the dock wine Montepulciano di Abruzzo where the grape is noted for producing darkly colored, tannic wines with low acidity, and some aging potential. According to wine expert Matt Kramer, well-made examples from favorable vintages can be inky black with fjord-like depth of fruit, and soft, sweet tannins that are never astringent, unless the wine extracted too many tannins from prolonged exposure to oak. Jancis Robinson notes that some examples of Montepulciano can exhibit a reductive character likely due to the high levels of phenolics in the grape variety. While Montepulciano di Abruzzo is produced in all four provinces of Abruzzo, nearly two thirds comes from the Chieti province, though many of the more critically acclaimed versions come from the lower yields and less fertile ferrous clay and limestone vineyards of the northern Taramo and Pescara provinces, from the mountainous province of L'Aquila. A rose made from Montepulciano called Sarasolo is a specialty of the region. These deep cherry pink wines get their color from the highly pigmented Montepulciano grape that requires only a very brief period sometimes less than a day of maceration time prior to pressing. According to wine experts Bostianich and Lynch, these wines tend to be heartier than typical rosés with exotic spice aromas along with dried cherry, orange peel, strawberry and cinnamon notes. Matt Kramer describes Sarasolo as one of the world's great rosé. In the Contracara dock stretched out among five communes near the Marque border in northern Abruzzo, a Novello-style wine is produced from grapes that at least 30% of which has undergone carbonic maceration a technique used in the French wine region of Beaujolais for the wine Beaujolais Nouveau. This produces a very fruity wine with low tannins that can be consumed soon after the vintage. The major white wine of the region is produced by the Trebbiano d'Arbuzzo, and Trebbiano Toscano grapes the later is often labeled simply Trebbiano. The wine gained fame in the early 17th century when it was praised for its high quality by the Spanish writer Miguel de Cervantes in his work Novelas Ejemplares. These wines tend to be low in extract and acidity with faint aromatics that can be lightly floral. However, Trebbiano di Abruzzo tends to be much more complex when compared to Trebbiano Toscano. When produced with some oak, and often blended with Chardonnay, Bostianich and Lynch note that the wines can have a creamy richness with pear and apple flavors and slight oxidized notes of caramel and nuts. <laughs> Docks and other wine regions Abruzzo has approximately 30,000 hectares of vineyards planted in the region, with roughly half devoted to dock production. 
Controgera Dock, created in 1996 and located in the hills and valleys around the commune of Controgera, whose name means anti-war in the local dialect in the Taramo province. Until its creation, the Trebbiano di Abruzzo dock was the only permitted white wine dock in Abruzzo. Reds are made predominantly from the Montepulciano grape, minimum 60% of the wine, with Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Cabernet Franc permitted to make up to 15%, and other local red varieties the remaining 25%. Whites are a blend of Trebbiano Toscano 60 to 70% and Passerina 15% with other local white varieties permitted up to 25%. A sparkling Spumante style is produced from Trebbiano Toscano 60% and at least 30% combine of Chardonnay, Verdicchio and Pecorino with other local white varieties permitted up to 10%. Passito and Vino Novello styles of wine can also be produced in this dock as well as varietal Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Chardonnay, Silagiolo and Pinot Nero. Montepulciano di Abruzzo dock, created in 1968 as a red, rosé wine only dock that covers 7,500 hectares throughout Abruzzo. The wines are made from at least 85% Montepulciano with Sangiovese permitted up to 15%. In the sub-zones of Casoria and Terra dei Vestini the wines must be made from 100% Montepulciano. The wines must be aged a minimum of five months prior to release. Wines labeled as Vecchio aged at least two years in wood such as oak barrels. Rosés made under the same dock requirements as the reds grape varieties, harvest yield and alcohol level are labeled as Sarasolo meaning cherry red. Colleen Terramane DOCG, created in 1995 as a dock and elevated to DOCG status in 2003. This wine is produced from grapes grown only among 30 select communes in the province of Taramo. While harvest, aging and alcohol levels regulations are similar to the Montepulciano di Abruzzo dock the wine must be made from at least 90% Montepulciano with no more than 10% of Sangiovese permitted in the wine. Trebbiano di Abruzzo dock, created in 1972 as white wine dock that covers virtually the entire Abruzzo region. This dock has one of the highest permitted yields in all of Italy at 17.5 hectolitres per hectare. The wine is made from the Trebbiano di Abruzzo grape local name for Bambino Bianco but may be another grape variety and Trebbiano Toscano, which was once thought to be the same grape as Trebbiano di Abruzzo, must account for at least 85% of the blend with Malvasia Toscano, Cococciola and Passerina permitted to make up to 15% of the blend. The wines must be aged a minimum of five months prior to release and attain a minimum alcohol level of at least 11.5%. Villa Magna Dock, established as a red wine dock in 2011. As of 2014 it covers 32 hectares with 172 hectolitres of wine produced. Red, Montepulciano. Terra Tolisi Dock, established as a dock in 2008. It is a small dock, and as of 2014 it covers 21 hectares with 723 hectolitres of wine produced. It allows a wide variety of grapes to be produced. White, Trebbiano di Abruzzo, Trebbiano Toscana, Falangina, Malvasia, Moscato, Passerina, and Chardonnay. Red, Montepulciano, Sangiovese, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot. Ortona Dock, established as a dock in 2011. As of 2014 it covers 18 hectares with 100 hectolitres of wine produced. White, Trebbiano di Abruzzo or Trebbiano Toscana. Red, Montepulciano. In addition to the region's docks, Abruzzo is also home to eight Indicazioni Geografica Tipica IGT designations Alto Torino, Colli del Sangro, Colline Frentane, Colline Pescaresi, Colline Titine, Vastis also known as Histonium, Terra di Chieti and Valle Pelina. Many producers use these IGT to produce proprietary red blends using more international varieties like Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. <laughs> 